In this year, people have already made so many bone lab mods, and these mods are really cool. So I've decided to make a list of the best bone lab mods of 2023. So enjoy. First, we're gonna be looking at maps, and this is Bone Z. This is basically a port from COD Zombies to Bone Lab. You also have HUD right here that shows how much points I have. Let's just play around and see. And this map is pretty scary as well, so that makes it even better. Grip to buy Argus. I guess I just gotta kill more zombies to get more money. You also have the mystery box here yeah this is probably the most scary bone lap map i've ever played but that definitely makes it so much fun so yeah you should definitely try bone z for yourself because this is an insane experience this map is called pre-degression and this is basically a really cool story mode it has clipboards with it look at this it even has a hand scanner unknown guest it just gave me this key card and now i can unlock this look how cool this is made this door even opens this looks like an entire new game itself it doesn't even look like bone lab anymore like look at this it's just massive buildings and stuff and this story mode is really long as well it's way too big for me to complete it in this video but i'm gonna try to show some of the beginning stuff this might be even better than the actual bone lab campaign like it's insane how much work has been put into this map i think it's really impressive so yeah if you want a completely new story mode definitely check out pre-degression because this map is insane this is the Ether Sandbox. It looks so cool just because it's so big. Apparently, it's from Vertigo 2. But yeah, this room and like the surroundings and stuff just look so cool. It's such a big map as well. I don't really know what you can do inside of this map, but I think this site is just really impressive. Like, look at this guy. I don't know what these big orbs are. Maybe they need to be put in there, but it looks sick. So yeah, this is this Sandbox map. I think it's just a really impressive big map and yeah not really that much else to it but it just looks really cool my vr sessions are long and for these sessions i need good comfort well the basic oculus head strap doesn't really give me that so i'm really happy that i found kiwi design kiwi design has sent me a head strap and since then i can play for hours without having any pain or any discomfort kiwi design has so much more to offer but these are the ones i recommend so if you want to check out kiwi design make sure to do it with the link in the description if you use that link i will get a small percentage of every sale so i would really appreciate it okay Okay, back to the video. Okay, so this map is called the City of DK. And this is basically a creepy horror story. And I really enjoy this map because it even has its own NPCs featured in the story. Like, just look at this room. There's all types of light and stuff. There's a dead zombie right here. So if you really like horror maps, this is probably the best one. Look, right there, you even have these NPCs. And those are scary. And this map has, like, a storyline to it. Look, you have, like, this room. There's stuff on on the wall there's this room right here and there's much more you even have these clipboards included in the map so the fact that this has so much lore to it makes it really cool so yeah this is the city of dk and it's definitely a map i recommend this map is called above water abode it's basically like a hotel or a big house just in the middle of the sea yeah let's explore the house whoa this actually looks really cool with the smoke and stuff and a really cool designed room i kind of like this this room oh my god there's a slide here let's go there's also some missions in this map i just gotta obtain some stuff and then put it in here and there well i'm not gonna do that for this video so that's up to y'all but yeah this mod is just a really cool house and apparently also some lore with it so it's a pretty cool mod in my previous videos i've talked a lot about how much of a fan i am of the bone works to bone lab port called lab works but this is laid works it's basically the basics of of the last levels of boneworks ported to bone lab and this level is dungeon one of the last levels and if you've seen or played boneworks before this is like so much fun to play in bone lab it's just really cool seeing this and if you've seen or played boneworks before this is so much fun next up we have michael's house from gta this house is pretty sick to visit and yeah if you've played gta story mode this place is definitely cool to look at in vr so yeah this is michael's house 
for guns we have the black ops 3 gun pack and this pack includes some really cool guns and the thing i like the most about these guns is how detailed they are for example this thing right here it moves whenever you tilt the gun i don't really see that a lot with other guns so that's really cool and these guns also work so well another fun thing about these guns is how cool the magazines are look how big this magazine is this is like a machine gun so yeah, these guns work really well, so I definitely recommend trying these out. This is the Kraber from Apex Legends. It has a really big magazine, really cool reload, and it's a sick sniper, including a really cool scope with a little bit of recoil. I love this weapon, and I need to hit a trick shot with this. Finally! Oh my god. Alright, so that's the Kraber. So now we got the Vertigo 2 weapon pack. And this is pretty cool. Vertigo 2 is a VR game on PC. But since it's such a cool game, Babacorp has made some weapons out of the game and ported them to Bone Lab. Do you have this cool thingy? You can reload like this. And it just shoots balls. You can reload it here or here. It has a really cool animation. It opens the like mouth and then it eats the ball. Let's test this thing out on a fork. What a buddy. Boing. This gun definitely does some damage. I like how the balls stick to Ford. Boing. So yeah, this is probably my favorite Bone Lab weapon mod. And this is only one out of many of the weapons from the gun pack. You also have this thing right here. Look how powerful this thing is. So yeah, these guns are just two out of many weapons from the Vertigo 2 gun pack. So definitely download the gun pack to see what's in there. So this is the Ice Staff. And this one is pretty cool. You basically reload it right here. And now you shoot forts. And I think this ice shooting is really cool. And this weapon also looks amazing. So yeah, that's why I like this mod. This is the Der Eisendrache bow pack. And it is so sick. I honestly don't know what game these bows are from. But I really love them. It looks so cool shooting this fire bow. Like look at this impact after I shot the bow. That is so cool. Let's test this thing out on a fort. Oh my. That did something. I think if you put something or someone close to that orange thingy, it makes it explode. Yeah. And the cool thing is that there are like five different types of bows in this gun pack, but I'm not gonna spoil them. So download this pack for yourself and yeah, enjoy it. I think you will because this is so cool. This is the Panzer Schreck. I don't know if I said that correctly, but let's just say it's an RPG. I first encountered this gun in Pavlov, but it's probably from some other game. Let's test it out in bone lab. Let's spawn a couple Fords. Let's see what this rocket launcher can do. I just completely missed that. Oof. It's not that powerful, but it can definitely kill some Fords. So yeah, that's the Panzer Schreck. Now we got avatars. And as first, we got the Vertigo 2 avatar pack. Vertigo 2 is a really good game on Steam. And Babacorp decided to put the avatars or the characters from Vertigo 2 into Bone Lab. And these look pretty cool. You got this guy. His name is General Sinto. And you got Gentle Hand. <laughs> you got Gremlin. I like this avatar. And he can also point his middle finger, <laughs> which is very long, by by the way so i can now point my middle finger even though i'm not on index so that's really cool you got henrik which is half octopus or something this is a really cool avatar and you got joe jeff which is basically a square head with no arms but somehow i can still grab stuff the cool thing about this avatar pack is that these avatars are just so weird but in my opinion that makes it really cool so yeah that was the vertigo 2 avatar pack now we have minecraft peasant and i think this avatar is really really cool because it really looks like a minecraft avatar but then the peasant from bone lab so the creator of this mod did very well making a minecraft character and mixing it with the peasant from bone lab so i really like that this is the king crab avatar and it's such a big crablet i kind of like this one even though it looks like i'm flying oh my god this guy can do some stunts as well what <laughs> maybe this is how you walk but yeah i think it's really cool that somebody made an avatar for this let's see if i can grab some stuff oh my god that looks really good i love how my arms are this long so i can just reach everywhere this is so overpowered if i would just want to like shoot a corner without getting shot i can just do this 
So yeah, that's the King Crablet avatar. This is the Mr. Beast avatar pack. There are so many Mr. Beast versions in this, such as the Mr. Beast versus Squid Game version, the Mr. Beast head off version. I think this avatar looks pretty cool. The hair looks a bit unnatural, but for the rest, you can definitely see that this is Mr. Beast. You also have some meme versions like this one. It's completely flat. Or this incredibly huge Mr. Beast version. And it has red eyes as well. That's scary. So yeah, that's the Mr. Beast avatar pack. This is the Miles Morales avatar and I think it looks pretty sick. I like to wear the Spider-Man avatar a lot but this one is pretty cool as well. I think the lighting on this especially from the eyes is pretty nice. So yeah that's this avatar. This is the Black Ops 3 Reaper from Hunter MVPs and this avatar is really cool because it has a gun on the side arm and this gun can shoot as well. So yeah I think this avatar is pretty sick because it has a bolt-in minigun. This is the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Avatar Pack. I think these avatars are really cool. Just like this Freddy. It just looks like really well rendered, I guess. The colors just look like really good. And you have quite a lot of avatars in this pack as well. So yeah, if you like these type of avatars, definitely download this pack. This is the Strong Monkey. So basically, in Boneworks, you had this monkey plushie. And this is basically that plushie, but then very big and very strong. You have this plushie in Bone Lab as well. I think this avatar is pretty cool. This is Fat Ford and I think this avatar is pretty funny especially with the attention to detail in the cheeks. The thing that sucks is that I once made a video with this but during the process of making the video I messed up with the video footage and I deleted it all. So yeah that's the Fat Ford avatar. And now we got vehicles. This is the wheelchair mode. Yeah it's just a wheelchair you can sit on it and it doesn't move by itself so so maybe we should try this ramp. Oh, oh my my god let's go yes. i guess you can kind of move it forward with a nimbus gun but it is pretty hard and not consistent as you can see it's just a spinning chair now so yeah this is the wheelchair mode it's especially fun if you have a map with a lot of ramps and maybe you can even use this in a slide map try it out this is the iron chub from vertigo 2 it's a really cool vehicle i just opened the door here now i just jump in it has this part which is a really cool machine gun it has automatically openable doors and then you can sit here and just fly this thing. You can also enable music here. And this is how you enable the engine. Now it's gonna fly. And this works so well. You can just stare around the air. And it is super cool. The coolest thing about this vehicle is that you can shoot it out of the air. Look, it just exploded. I think that's so cool because I haven't seen any other mods that do that. And now you can't fly this thing anymore. So yeah, that's the Iron Chub from Vertigo 2, made by Babacor. This is the Hang Glider. You can basically pick it up like this and it will make you fly. And it's a pretty cool vehicle to almost give you like some low gravity effects. So if you go to this big map, you can use the Hang Glider and that makes it super cool because you can just fly around the entire map. So yeah, that's why I really like this mod. So yeah, that's the hang glider mod. This is the Warthog. And the cool thing about this vehicle is that there's a big gun on the back. So let's reload this gun by pulling this and then you can shoot it. And yeah, it's just a really cool big vehicle that you can drive as well. So especially in multiplayer, this is a lot of fun to use because you can have somebody in the front driving and somebody in the back shooting the gun. So yeah, that's the Warthog. The next vehicle is the Dirt Bike. This is just a pretty sick bike and you can customize it as well. If you get on top of the bike and you sit down, then you can open a customize menu and this is really cool. You can even change the texture with this customization menu. For example, you can make it look like Minecraft stone or dirt blocks and even like smiley faces and you can also hit wheelies with this thing so that's really funny. So yeah, this vehicle is a lot of fun to use and it's definitely one of my favorite vehicles. So yeah, that's the dirt bike. This is the Titanfall North Star and you can call it in and it will now spawn in. I really love that animation. And now you just gotta climb inside of this thing. And once you're at the top, you can sit down here. And you can actually move this thing like a puppeteer. And yeah, I haven't seen any other vehicles like this. So I really think it's really cool. So that's the Titanfall North Star. Okay, so now we have melee weapons. And we'll begin with the Karamid pack from Son of Forehead. I really like these Karamids. Especially because these have such cool skins to them. For example, this Galaxy Karamid. But 
also this karambit, a red karambit, and this cool karambit. I think karambits are the coolest knives, so seeing these in Bone Lab is really cool. So yeah, that's the karambit pack. This is the switchblade, and this is probably the coolest knife in the game, because you can switch it. Now it's not a knife anymore, but if I hit my menu button, it pops it out. That's really cool. Yo, what's up, Ford? Holy shit, that thing does damage as well. So yeah, that's the switchblade. Now we have this butterfly knife. And this one is pretty cool as well. I believe it's from Apex Legends. So let's do a Ford test. That does so much damage. So yeah, this was the butterfly knife. The next one is the comically large spoon and the gold spoon. This is just a really big spoon. Does it do well on a fort though? Maybe? It's kind of hard to use though. Does this thing even do damage? Oh my god, you can't barely even kill forts with this thing. It isn't really usable as a melee weapon, but it's still a funny mod. These are the wolverine claws. And I think these are really cool because they're on my arm and it's like a melee weapon with my fists, which is super cool. Cool. I can deselect the claws, challenge four to a fist fight, but then he's gonna lose. So yeah, that's the Wolverine Claws. Let me know your favorite Bone Lab melee weapon in the comments. Alright, so the next mods are gonna be a little bit random. Because I couldn't really categorize these mods. So at first we have the Samsung Galaxy 8 camera. And this is basically just a phone mod with a really good working camera. And I think it's really cool that somebody made this. Because it actually works. And it works pretty well. So yeah, I think this mod is pretty cool. Next up we have Dusty's Destructible Props. And this is basically a big list of props that you can also destroy which is pretty cool because not all mods allow you to do that so let's say we spawn these log towers you can also destroy these and combined with the constrainer you can make some really cool stuff with these props so i definitely suggest checking this mod if you like building stuff with the constrainer so yeah that was dusty's destructible props now we've got the fpv drone it's basically a drone with a controller and a vr headset which you can actually put on top of your head but the coolest thing about this mod is that it has a vr headset that comes with it i'm controlling this drone right now but it's pretty hard but yeah as you can see in this camera and my VR headset, it kind of tracks where the drone goes, which is really cool. But yeah, I'm not really good with flying the drone, but you get the point. So yeah, that's the FPV drone mode. This is the portable item scaler. And what it basically does is if you have an item right here and you put it here, you can scale this item, make it smaller, make it bigger. And that is a really cool mod. I don't think this thing allows you to scale forts, but yeah, this thing can be really useful if, for example, pretty annoying to reload. But yeah, this thing can especially be very useful if you're this avatar, for example, and you try to reload a gun. Sometimes it's pretty hard, but if you pick the item scaler and you make the gun bigger... Oh my god, that didn't get scaled, but that's fine. But now it's way easier to reload the gun, and it still has the same recoil, so... I think it's a great mod, and it's also helpful. I just scaled my Wolverine claws to be so big, and now these are extremely powerful. Let's see how big we can make this gun. I don't think it's fits on the item scaler anymore but this gun is definitely big with a very small magazine oh my god now the kickback is really big jesus christ so yeah that's a portable item scaler mod this is the combustible lemon mod it's just a lemon grenade that explodes in my hand apparently i think it's a pretty funny mod and the grenade is pretty powerful so let's see what it does to ford let's do that again ford, can you hold this for me real quick Okay, that does something. So yeah, we have some combustible lemons here and let's just throw a couple in there. They're not like extremely powerful, but they are definitely fun to mess around with, especially because it's a lemon. So yeah, that's the combustible lemon mod. This is the void radio controlled C4. It's basically a C4 you can explode from a distance. So let's just plant this C4 right there. And then this button, that's really cool. A cool detail for the C4 is that when you explode it, this thing actually vaporizes. And it's also a pretty powerful C4, so... It just looks so funny blasting this thing next to dead forts. 
and they all just fly up like that. Oh my god. So yeah, that's the void radio controlled C4. So this is the gravity designator. And basically, wherever you shoot, that's where the gravity is gonna go. To explain, let's look at these dead forts around me. If I shoot up, the gravity goes up. And if I hold down, we will all fly down again. So yeah, it's a pretty fun way to just completely control the gravity. And it's such a fun way to just completely make a mess of every map. Just look at that fort. <laughs> look at all these blocks flying. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? It's so laggy. Jesus Christ. Look at these nobodies. What? So yeah, that's the gravity designator. It's such a fun mod. This is the NPC repellent. And it might not make that much sense. But if I just spawn a couple NPCs and hold this thing close to them, they will all move away because they're scared of this little bottle. So yeah, this can be pretty nice in certain maps if you just don't want to get attacked, I guess. And it's also kind of funny seeing these NPCs just really struggle to fight against you. So yeah, that's the NPC repellent mod.